One month after our long trophy drought, West Ham are back in action. As we set ourselves ready for the preparations for the new season, the 23-24 campaign is nearly upon us. Yes, I can't even believe I'm saying that. Literally, it is going to be coming close, as you can imagine. Um, but we travel to Bournemouth at Middle Park tonight, 7 o'clock kickoff. Tonight, 7 o'clock kickoff. How are you feeling about it? I mean, literally, I don't know who's going to be playing. Um, as Russ said earlier on, you'd be as well going and checking <laughs> as well go to the game, taking your football bits with you because you might get a game yourself, just like that fan did years ago under Harry Redknapp. Um, but yeah, Boreham Wood, we went there last year. We drew, uh, sorry, we drew one each with them, yeah. Um, a Ben Rama goal. Uh, was scored, but listen, it's a friendly, I don't really know who's going to feel, well, we're going to talk you through the squad that is going to be involved in this game, but a little bit about Boreham Wood first, um, they're a team that potentially look like they could be ready to challenge for a spot in the EFL, they entered the Vanarama National League in the 2014-2015 season, and they've been a consistent performer in that division, and they've finished regularly in the playoff positions, and have challenged among the top sides in that competition. So a rise through the football pyramid has seen the side win Division 1 East in 2006 before promotion to the then Conference South in 2010. Five years later, another promotion was achieved through the playoffs and Boreham Woods' rise continued. A fourth-place finish in the National League in the 27-2018 season, and that was followed by a fifth-place finish in the 2018-2019 season. And another fifth in the 2019-20 season, was then followed by two finishes outside the playoff places, 14th and 8th, respectively. But last season's efforts suggest that long-serving time, long time serving manager Luke Gerrard's or Gerrard's side are ready to push again this coming campaign, losing to the playoff winners, Notts County, in the semi-finals, and that indicates that they are very close to promotion into the EFL, of course. Now, like I said to you, we did play them about this time last year um, in early July of 2022. We drew one each. It was a goal from Saeed Ben Rama um, and Will Evans drew the side level for um, Boreham Wood, of course, as well. Now, when it comes to team news for Boreham Wood, they have signed some new players. Players I expect us not to, to be, uh, um, to not have heard of before. Um, but they've signed a guy called Mo Sagaf, a Tom Whelan, as well as forwards, not Tammy Abraham, but Timmy Abraham and Angelo Balanta. Uh, and I think the home supporters are probably expecting to see all four of those players feature for Boreham Wood. Now, David Moyes will use this game to see and cast an eye over our young, promising players that have come through the development squad. Now, we do know that all the senior international players are not going to be returning from their summer break until next week. And so, therefore, Moyes is going to have to rely heavily on a lot of his youth players for this particular game. So expect players like the goalkeepers, Joseph Anang, uh, Christian Hege, um, who will join Fabianski at Meadow Park, absent. Uh, goalkeeper will be Ariola because he featured for France in their June internationals. Now, something interests me about Joseph Anang. Um, he did sign a new contract with West Ham. He went out on loan with League of Ireland side St. Patrick's Athletic last season, and he appeared in the Europa Conference League for them. Um, but something else that also intrigues me is the fact that Hedgie is um, earned has made him call up to the Hungary senior squad in March this year. So that's an amazing feat for a very, very young player. Other players to be included in the squad are Oli Scarls, 17, fullback. We all know about what ability. He's got the big, tall, 18, versatile centre-half in Keelan Casey and Kamari Swire. Um, he's a versatile midfielder. All made their impressive first-team debuts in the 3-0 Conference League win over FCSB in Romania in November last year. Um, Scarls and Casey, of course, went on to feature for West Ham in the under-18s and won the FA Youth Cup and the under-18 Premier League South Division. Casey also scored in the 5-1 FA Youth Cup final win over Arsenal in May, as did two of other players that will be in the West Ham squad tonight, and that is Gideon Cadu, the player I fucking love, man. I think he's a quality, quality young player. He's a forward, so um, I'm intrigued to see if he features and will 
step up to the occasion. Albeit, yes, we are playing a lower league team, but it'd be good to see a lot of these young players feature alongside also midfielder George Earthy as well. Levi Lang, he's a little bit older, 20 years old. He's also had his first team debut and a substitute appearance in a 4-0 Conference League win versus AEK Larnaca back in March earlier this year. Um, Luazu, the Brazilian player who came in with a lot of plaudits back um, last, I think he joined West Ham back in January, I think it was, um, and he featured for Mark Robson's side in the Premier League too quite regularly. But another player we all expect and could get quite a lot of game time this season is Divine Mubama. Um, he scored his first senior goal for West Ham um, in the victory over AEK Larnaca at the London Stadium in March. Uh, and he does not turn 18 until October, but he was part of the squad that defeated Fiorentina in Prague to win the Conference League in June. Still get chills thinking about it. So that is going to be fantastic to see him play. And also looking likely that he may feature a bit more than what maybe fans expect for the new season. Another member of the Moy squad that night was 19-year-old Freddie Potts, a player who made his first team debut at home to Dinamo Zagreb in the Europa League in December 2021 and has featured twice in our successful European run last season. And he is a very, very talented young man in the middle of the park. Another player that excites me, 21-year-old, probably his chance to prove can he make it at this standard is Keenan Forson, 21. He also debuted against Dinamo Zagreb um, as well. And that completes the list of maybe 12 upwards of players that could feature in the game against Borum Wood as well. So the full squad is as follows. Lucas Fabianski, Aaron Creswell, Kurt Zuma, Pablo Fornals, Gianluca Scamacca, Flynn Downs, Danny Engs, Jared Bowen, Angelo Ogbonna, Cora Coventry, Emerson Luazu, George Erthy, Keelan Casey, Christian Hege, Joseph and Nang, Daniel Chesters back from his loan spell at Colchester, Levi Lang, Gideon Kadu, Magai, Magizer, Oliver Scarls, Kamari Swire, Keenan Forson, and Freddie Potts. Now, to watch the game tonight is looking like that is not going to be available but keep your eye on the channel because if it does become available we will let you know and if it does become available and we are going to watch it we will do a match day live as well so keep your eyes on the channel listen it's a friendly i'm not going to sit here and say to you um that i'm bothered about the result considering most of our a lot of our players aren't even going to feature um but i expect west ham to be busy in the market we're off to fly away to australia over the next couple of days as well so that's going to impact our impact our potential transfer dealings but i'm hoping that they've got something getting done in the background behind the scenes and if anything happens with players then they get the deals done as quickly as they possibly can it gives me the confidence to know that maybe tim steiden's going to stick behind here and get these deals done on behalf of west ham so let's just hope and wait and see what happens anyway enjoy the game or the updates or whatever you get or however you get access to it. if you go to the game of course enjoy that as well and um, there's your short and sweet match preview take it easy everyone and come on you iron